someone who suffers from phobia, like myself, right, uh, experiences intense fear of things with practically little to no actual danger, right? So you might have a phobia for, some people have pho phobias for spaces, tight spaces, uh, spiders or bugs, right? Uh, some people have a phobia of getting on an airplane. That's a real thing, right? Uh, some people don't like clubs or small spaces. Some people don't like to be in spaces where there's only one door, <laughs> right? Sometimes I just don't want to be there. And if I am, I want to be, be the closest person to that door, okay? Just so in case I need to get out, I can get out. But um, some people have phobias where they don't attend social events, because that means they would have to interact with other people. And that's where they struggle, right? People have phobias for almost anything that you can, you know, think of under the sun. So phobia is one of those things that can kind of sneak up on you. And it can also be something that you had from when you were a child, but it didn't really present itself or, or occupy the, the, the forefront of your, of your mind or your, your being, right? So now that you're growing up, you're starting to realize, oh, I don't like that feeling or I don't like being here. I don't like being in this setting. I don't like people who are loud. I don't like spiders. I don't like ladybugs. Simple things, right? But they are major to that individual who is experiencing that phobia. So something to keep in mind. Uh, the third person, for example, with uh, who's suffering from panic disorder experiences what I can describe as a sudden but repeated stretches of immense fear, right? Where they may not be in any danger, but these attacks make them feel like they, they might be, right? So they come quick. Sometimes they last for just a few minutes. And sometimes they stick around for a little bit. Why? That feeling of, oh my gosh, what's going on, right? And, and the fast breathing, uh, your heart, you know, their heart starts to thump a little bit faster and harder. Um, they break out in sweats. Some of them, they breathe, you know, a little bit heavier and faster. And you can see some of these things showing up when someone's having a, a panic attack, right? Uh, if you ask somebody who doesn't speak in public to stand up and speak, that can be detrimental to that person, right? So something to consider, when we are in various settings trying to get other people to come out of their shell, you got to be careful because if they come out of that shell and you're not prepared to administer any aid or assistance, you might have just caused a little bit more damage by pushing them too far, right? There is a comfort zone. A lot of us love to stay there. Sometimes when we're forced out of that too quickly, Right. When I mean too quickly is is not at our, our pace that we're comfortable with. That can be detrimental to, to the individuals.